So the jet is here with a guide on how to Americanize this Mad Cats T2 flight stick, the joystick part of it, um, to varying degrees. We'll start off with a straightforward one. Pre presumably you want to Americanize it by having it a bat top. If you want to buy a bat top, buy a plastic bat top like this. Um, I think they're they're fairly universal. This is actually a Sanwa um, joystick with the, the, the Sanwa bat top will fit both Samwa and Sumitsu with the adapter here. So Mad Cats have made this pretty easy to customize. So you just pop the button here, lift the thing up. Hopefully you can see in here, we have quick, quick disconnects all round. Um, first of all, if you just want the bat top rather than the ball top, you have, if you've got no other issues with the stick, for example, if you're quite happy with the with the dead zone, if you're quite happy with the, the tension, all you want is the, the bat top on it. All you need to do is grab a screwdriver. Mad Cats will give you one here. Stick the screwdriver on there. Turn it, hold the, hold the, the ball top. Twist it round. Hopefully you can see. Twist it round. Take the ball top off. Put the bat top on, hold it firmly, tighten it slightly, not too tight though, and then that's it, done, you've got a bat top. The next issue is whether or not you want to Americanize it further. Now I, I played in the arcades in the, the mid 90s and you know, I played Street Fighter 2 on using the, the Samma sticks played Mortal Kombat and Kill Instinct with the standard, I believe it was Hap Sticks, which is the bat top. It's a somewhat stiffer stick, a bit more tension. Um, I don't recall the gates, but I think it was maybe circular or or um, octagonal, one of the two anyway. Um, my personal preference is I prefer a stick which has less of a, less of a dead zone. So the dead zone is basically the space that you can move the stick with nothing happening. So if I can demonstrate here, what I've bought is, I bought a, an, an Simitsu LS56-01. This is what I'm going to use because this is quite a, quite a, a firm stick with a, with a little dead zone. So the, the basic, to explain the difference is, um, this on the left is the Simitsu LS56-01. On the right here is a Sanwa JLF, which is exactly the same as in, as in here. So if you can see this, if I push the the Sama first, see the distance which tra which it travels before the you could hear the click of the the switches engaging here. And if we turn to the Sumitsu, you can see less distance is needed to actually make the stick do something. So. There is no right and wrong when it comes to arcade sticks. There is no best arcade sticks. It's all to do with your personal preference. So I'd say right now, if you still are not sure which one you want to get, so let's look at the, the, the Sanma. This is the one that's in here. If your tendency, whether or not you've got a bat top in here, it doesn't matter. Whether your tendency is to make big, big movements with your, with your left hand, then you might want to just stick with this. Um, if, for example, like myself, you prefer to make smaller movements with a stick, then a stick with a smaller dead zone would be suitable for yourself, like this one. Um, again, I, I looked in a lot of forums to try and find the right stick. Um, and with this this one, the LS56-01, there's a lot of comment either way. I mean, you had some guys saying that it was so good that he put it in all his sticks and it was a nirvana of gaming. And you had other guys saying that it's so sensitive that there's sort of involuntary inputs, you know, you're just sort of leaning on it and it goes one way. Both of these will be true. It just depends on how you how you move the stick, you physically move it. So I'll leave this decision up to yourself. But for me, I'm looking to install this because I, I already have it in, in this uh, Hori EX anyway, and it's it works very well for me. Um, the third point for me is I am not a fan of the standard square gate in found in the in, in the Sama sticks. I've I had it in the Hori for four years. I never managed ever managed to get used to it. 
So I've gone like this one, I've gone for an octagonal gate. So I, I feel that I, I, my moves come out a bit better with, with the octagonal gate, but again, it's entirely personal preference. If you are quite happy with the square gate, stick to the square gate. Um, so first of all, we will get into removing what is already here in the, the Mad Cats TE2. So using the, the Mad Cats tool here, it's you'll find there's a there's a, a plastic clip here, so don't pull in it too tightly. Just stick the, the tool in here, prise it off, and just see if you can gently remove it like that. Um, next up is the removal of the stick itself. So we are good to go with this. So if we come to the raw ingredients you need to do a full stick replacement with octagonal gate, um, this is the, the LS56-01. Next thing is the removal of the square gate and installation of the octagonal gate. So. There we go. Next thing I want to talk about is the mounting plate, which is this, because you need this to fix it in place. This is a SE, um, I think it's a P40. It's You can see by all the holes, it's a universal mounting plate. I think the the Shimitsu MS mounting plate also works in the Mad Cats, but don't quote me on that, but this one certainly does. So, what needs to happen here is the ball top needs to come off. And then, this original mounting plate needs to come off as well. This comes off like that, and then this one goes on like this. And bear in mind that originally the the connection here was on the left. As you look at it for the the Sama, this is exactly the same for the Simitsu. This needs to be on the left hand side here. So just to make sure that you haven't got it aligned like this or whatever. So we put this back on. And then we need to mount it. So I'll bring it forward, put it on like this. In fact, I need to put this on first. So, finally, just get the thing in place, and make sure it's straight and fairly central. That'll do the trick. Tighten it up. Finally, we get the bat top on. And lastly, 
just firmly put the connector back in place. Wrong way round. Gently, I, I don't want to be too too rash with this. There we go. Just like that. And that is it. We've now got the American style joystick. We've got the, the bat top, um, the octagonal gate, a slightly smaller dead zone and a, a stick with a bit more tension on it. So take from that what you will. Um, you don't have to do every aspect of that. I mean, you could just you could just change the bat top, as we said before. You could just change the the gate on the original stick if you preferred a different kind of gate. So there's multiple options. This was my options, and uh, I hope it's helpful for you. Thank you. I'm the gent. Goodbye.